Dr. Ross, last night you mentioned that Noah's flood was local and not global. What do we do with God's promise after the flood when he says he wouldn't do that flood again, and yet we still have local floods throughout the earth? Okay, very good question, and I actually did a Facebook post on that a few days ago. So you can go to my Facebook page and get a little longer answer uh, to why God said he would never uh, you know, kill people off with a flood like that. And uh, how do you reconcile that with what's happening in Houston and other parts of the world? Well, if you actually look at what you see in uh, Genesis chapter 9, he's basically saying, I will not wipe out the whole world of the ungodly with a flood ever again. So it doesn't mean he's, there are not going to be local floods like you see in Houston taking place. It just says you won't see a universal flood. So when people say, well, what do you believe about Noah's flood? I hesitate to use the word that I believe the flood was local because I think it's not just local to a group of humanity. It's the world of the ungodly that was flooded. The entire world of the ungodly was flooded. So I prefer the fact I believe in a universal flood. A universal flood doesn't have to be global if it wipes out all of humanity and all their animals. And so, and what you notice in Genesis, Humanity does not become global until Genesis 10 and 11. Before that, humanity is in the locale of the earth, so God simply has to flood that region to wipe out all of humanity. But just to be clear here, the local flood model we hold to it reasons to believe is about four or five times bigger than the traditional old earth creationist flood model, because we see it as an ice age event and it's much bigger than the traditional one you see in old earth creationist literature. We think it's way bigger than just the plains of Mesopotamia uh, because we think humanity had inhabited much more of the world than that. So we're talking a really big flood, much bigger than what happened in uh, Houston. And so floods like that are just simply the operation of the laws of physics. They will happen. Uh, and the next time it says that God's going to wipe out ungodly humanity uh, with fire and heat, uh, not with water. But it's going to be the entire world of the ungodly, not just a portion of the world. Thank you for watching. God loves you with the perfect love of a perfect father. We are called to be God's children, quick to follow in faith. I want to encourage you into your Bible today. I want to encourage you to be open to fasting all kinds of fasting. I want to encourage you to declare Psalm 91 over a friend or your family today. And I want to encourage you to seek God's still soft voice, that voice of perfect love for your next step now, right now.